Hello everyone, so I'm gonna start a mix from zero. One of the concepts and the things I want with this YouTube channel is that I really hate when you come into a YouTube channel and you want to see something and then this guy starts talking forever about his life and what he did yesterday and then that he went this place and then he... So, I just want to talk the least possible and just do, so I'm gonna mix. And uh, it's a project called, called Slatka from Moscow and it's kind of electropop. So, yeah, just hang out if you want to hang out and enjoy it. Something I'd like to say at this stage is that I have an E5060 summing mixer. Uh, I'm working on getting a camera here, so you can also check out what's happening on the Neve mixer. But for now, I'm just uh, showing you my screen. So many things I would do are connected to using my outboard gear. So I love this guy and I love to use it. So yeah, if you see me doing something like that, you know why it, what i'm doing now is just to check out the gain of everything and to use a lot of meter and start rooting the whole thing and most importantly coloring it
quick uh, note here. Yeah, I'm just organizing everything and coloring it. For me, that's super important. And I wanted to make a video just from the very, 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 very beginning in case somebody finds it interesting. So I actually changed my mind and I'm going to aim for a beat lower level than 5. I think I'm going to go for somewhere around 7, 8. Because I see that the kick is super, like, not well balanced. So I'm expecting the whole thing to be a little bit uh, um, fatter than needed. So I'm going to have to reduce a lot of the content. So I'm just going to be conservative and safe.
So I'm gonna move towards a knee 50 60 centerpiece. I need to make some little magic so you guys can hear me. Just sec. So this is a 32 channel analog mixer. And so I'm uh, inputting the signal from that analog mixer here. And then you can hear it there. So that's all I'm doing there. And I'm sending each uh, end of each boss to the mixer. So I can just gather it there. So this guy is a room simulator and I'm just using it because I am in a quarantine right now <laughs> and so uh, and it's late in my home and I just want to build this mix and this is a really useful tool just to put yourself in a virtual environment so I mean you know Waves has some cool stuff and uh, yeah I don't find this plugin useless I think it's really a useful thing just to get yourself going you know I'm just a very practical guy so I'm just gonna put it there so I can make a balance with it
So for me, everything that is the end of a chain is yellow. I took that advice from Andrew Schreps and I think it's a great one. Yeah, just you move around and you're like, oh, yellow, 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 yellow. Okay, these are outputs. I just thought that I'm 99% sure that the client is going to ask me later to make some stamps. So I'm going to just boss everything, boss the hell out of all of this. So just gather everything in bosses and that will make my life easier. And I'm even going to do it for stereo tracks that are alone because in the next songs that I will mix of this record, there's going to be nine songs. There may be some like three bass lines or something. So yeah, just to be safe. So now I'm going to show you for the people who are working in Protals how I just do it. I mean, because I have a summing mixer, so I'm going to bring the... I have to record the output of the mixer because it's an analog mixer. So um, I have it all wired that that guy is coming on input 3132 in my Apollo Orion 32. Ah, I said Apollo Orion 32. I used to have an Apollo as well. Uh, Antelope Audio Orion 32, which I really like. So I'm gonna make a stereo aux and I'm gonna make another one. Sorry, I should, I wanted to make two. So I'm just gonna make two stereo auxes. And then they both will input from the Neve. And then they will Google both go to a track that I call router. So that's where I'm gonna sum them both. Why am I using two? Because one I call it Neve Parallel and the second one I call it Neve. And then I take this guy and I send it to another track that it's my actual mix and this uh, actual audio track. Boom. And then that's my mix. And for me, these guys are different shades of blue. This guy is bluish and this guy is green. So that's and my mix is red. And then this guy, I will do parallel compression to it. I'll talk about it in another video. And this guy, uh, I just kind of don't process it so much. So remember, this is the output of my summing mixer, analog summing mixer. And this is a copy of that output and I'll just process it in parallel and I'm sending both to a router, which is just a boss. And then I'm sending that to a mix track and then I gather it there. <laughs> 